some threads, nor any senior personnel who landed at Meta at all. Oh, that thread, mean letter, I'll have to see it. <laughs> I, I, you're always on one of those, I love it. You're very punny. <laughs> I was punny, and it's Friday, and you know, we all love to take pictures. I'll probably mm -hmm. take one later for social media, right? It's oh, a must. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And of the, for those of you who do love to take your pictures with friends, family, and of all the life experiences you go through, then you'll probably love to do the same and capture some beautiful nature. Yeah. And the scenes right here that the RGB has to offer. Danielle's got a pretty fun event to help yeah. us really hone in on our photo taking skills. I know. Whenever we do take a photo, it's usually with a smartphone, not a full on camera. Most of us, You're right? You're so right. <laughs> yes, for sure. So that's why we need to learn how to use our smartphone in a smart way. And this is what uh, the, uh, uh, this event is going to help us with, okay? It's the Smartphone Nature Photography event, and attendees are going to be able to meet a professional photographer named Ruth Hoyt, who's going to be able to host the entire thing, and she's going to be able to guide participants through the process of learning just how to capture that special moment in time when it comes to our beautiful, natural Rio Grande Valley and, of course, South Texas environments. Now, that can mean capturing that perfect sunset shot at South Padre Island, or maybe capturing some of our natural wildlife in their habitat, maybe capturing some of the the valley's unique ecosystem or just taking photos of all the beautiful palm trees that we have here. There are so many amazing sites to see and take in when it comes to our Rio Grande Valley community and this event is going to be able to help us take stills of it all on our phone and that's the great thing. The event is going to help us learn how to take photos like that without the need for a big fancy camera. No, no, no. See, smartphones are really high tech these days and so it makes sense that we capture high quality images with our phones. The photo magic is literally in the palm of our hands these days and Ruth is going to show attendees a brief slideshow that's going to contain learned tips and tricks when it comes to exploring the natural world here in our phones. Then she's going to guide attendees on outside to practice some of the newfound knowledge outside in the wild, which is going to be great, um, you know, hands-on learning experience. So uh, here's the great thing. There is an event uh, that is open to everyone. It's this one. So if you happen to not quite have a smartphone, hey, well, not to worry. Their team is actually going to provide you with a camera device so you can join in on the fun regardless. Now. It's all going down at the one and only Quinta Mazatlan World Birding Center in McAllen, and it's going down tomorrow. The event kicks off at 8 in the morning, bright and early, so you can witness the essence of the outdoors there on site, and it'll last until about 10 in the morning. Plus, it's family-friendly, again, so you can bring the kiddos on out, too. And speaking of the kiddos, there's even going to be a special youth nature photo contest, and you can visit quintamazatlan.ticketleap.com for all the info that you're going to need to know about. Now, you guys, if you've, you've been to Quinta Mazatlan, you know how gorgeous gorgeous it is so what better place to practice your nature photo skills than there definitely and you know we were just talking about it we take pictures all the time but yeah. this class I think would be very uh, valuable because you know taking pictures of nature is mm -hmm. different because a butterfly is not gonna, just going to stand still no. right waiting mm -hmm. for you to take a picture the sun's we're always not wait for you. yeah yeah we're always impressed when Richard Moore brings back yeah. his stories because it, you know we know it took probably some patience there to get those perfect shots so you know, it'll it'll be worthy for those of everybody who's out there and interested in photography, right? So right. right, and of course, I probably the skills that you learn there could be good to taking weather photos Ooh. as well, because there's always uh, weather pictures to take when we have storms rolling mm -hmm. in and stuff. And I feel like those outdoor picture taking is definitely another realm of photography. Yeah. You know, it's great to see those lightning pictures when people are able to <laughs> capture them. Right. Again, I'm sure that they're just kind of waiting there with their waiting. phone, right? True. <laughs> I, I, I've tried so hard. I haven't been able to master that yeah. lightning shot for uh, sure. This, this one's for you. Yep. Yeah. She read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah. But as far as weather is concerned, what will we expect today? Any lightning in the forecast? Not really any lightning, but okay. we might see a few showers across the area. We are starting off mostly cloudy across the valley this morning. Here's a live look right now from South Texas College. Right now, McAllen, 78 southeast winds at 7 miles an hour. As we look at the currents in Brownsville, it is 80 degrees with the dew point at 76. Best time to be outside is later this evening as those temps are going to start warming on up into the 90s, low 90s. So another cool day, but we might see a few showers for the first half.